Brown, Jack Campion, and Lynn Klein will be risking everything they've won every time they play Second Chance. And now, here's the man who gives everyone a second chance, Jim Pratt. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you, and welcome to Second Chance. Good morning, players. Hi, uh, You're a good-looking group of uh, contestants. As you know, in this game, you're gonna get two chances to answer every question. You'll have five seconds to give me your first answer, then I'm gonna show you our Second Chance answers. Now, you can stay with your original choice and try to earn three points, but if you're wrong, or if you think you're wrong, you can take a Second Chance for one point. For each point you earn today, you'll get one spin at our fabulous Second Chance bonus board. And up there, you'll see cash and fantastic prizes and devils and they're well named because if you hit a devil you lose everything you've won up to that point and four devils put you out of the game permanently now the player with the most money wins the game so try to earn as many points as you can here's your first question and good luck what is walter mondale's home state the home state of walter mondale five seconds <laughs> Let me tell you right now that at least one of you is wrong. Now let's take a look at the second chance answers. Players, Walter Mondale's home state is either Minnesota, Wisconsin, or Missouri. And Maggie, I'm going to start with you. Would you like to stay with your first choice for three points? Would you like to maybe see something up there you hadn't thought of? Take a second chance for one. Uh, I, think I'll, I think I'll stay where I am. You're going to stay where you are? All right. Jack, come over to you and ask the same question. Stand pat or take a second chance. Remember, if you're right on the second chance, it's worth one point. I think I'm right, too. I'm going to stay with my answer. All right. Lynn, they both think you're wrong. You're going to take a second chance? I think I'm wrong, too. <laughs> what, what are you going to change to? To Missouri. You're going to change to Missouri. Jack, tell everybody the right answer. Minnesota. Minnesota. Well done, Mondale. <laughs> Three points for Maggie. Three points for Jack. And Lynn shut out the first time around. Plenty of time left in the game. And here comes question number two. Who was the first man ever to win two Academy Awards as Best Actor. The first man ever to win two Oscars for Best Actor. Five seconds. One, two, three. The answers come up, and I will tell you right now that at least two of you are right. Now let's take a look at the Second Chance Answers player. First man ever to win two Academy Awards was either Spencer Tracy Clark Gable or Gary Cooper? And I'm going to start with Jack. Oh, would you like to stay where you are? You're welcome. Or would you like to go for a second chance, Jack? I'm really terrible at these things. I'm going to stay with my answer. You're going to stay I'm where right. you are. All right. Lynn, what about you? Would you like to stand pat or would you like to go for a second chance? Maybe you hadn't thought of one of those. No, I'm going to stay with my answer. You're going to stay where you are. <laughs> Maggie, two confident opponents. Yeah, really. How confident of, are you of that first choice? Or would you like to take a second chance? It's not that I'm confident about mine. I'm just not confident about the other one, so I'll stay. What's the right answer, Maggie? Spencer Tracy. Oh. Is right. All three players. Three points for Maggie. Three points for Jack. Three points for Lynn. Now everybody's on the board. That's the way the game is played. Players, your last question in round one is... We've all sung about it, but what does the term alma mater really mean? Five seconds. I'll spare you my singing of it. Furious writing. One, two, Jack, I need an answer. There it is. All right. I will tell you right now that one of you is in big trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Second Chance Answers, players. Alma mater really means either our mother, foster mother, or mother of all. And I'm going to begin with Lynn. Would you like a second chance, Lynn? I would like a second chance. And which one would you like to change to? I think I would like to change to... Don't you wish you'd studied Latin harder than I you? I wish I would. Yeah, our mother. You're going to change to our mother. All right, now... Maggie, got a little bit of information. You may stay where you are, or you may take a second chance. I just hope I remember which, which one I wrote. I'll, I'll stay where I am. All right. Jack, you next. <laughs> you need a second chance, Jack. That's right, I definitely do. What are you going to change to? I'm going to change it to our mother. To our mother. 
You know what the correct answer is? Foster mother. Oh. Nobody hit it. That was the last question. And let me tell you where you stand. Lynn with three spins, Jack and Maggie tied with six, and right now it's turned those points into dollars. So here comes the fabulous second chance bonus board. Open it up, gentlemen. <laughs> Prizes, devils, they're all up there players. For every point you've earned, you get one spin at the bonus board. And in this round, that board contains over $10,000 in cash and exciting prizes. And all you have to do is say, stop! Now, let's hope that it doesn't happen to you, because if you hit that devil, you lose everything you've won up until that point. If you hit a prize, you get the prize. If you hit cash, you get that. Now, as you're spinning, Anytime you think a devil may be the next thing to come up, you can elect to pass your remaining spins to the player with the most money and force that player to risk everything. Let me tell you where you stand once again. Lynn with three, Jack and Maggie tied with six. Lynn, we begin with the player with the fewest spins, and that is you. You're in control of the board. Watch out for those devils, and good luck to you. Call the stop when you feel something good. Stop! $600, and that was good. <laughs> That's where you stand, Lynn. You've got two spins left. You can continue to play and build up, or you could pass. I'll play. I thought so. Stop! <laughs> up jumps the devil, Lynn, and he just swallowed $600. All gone. Okay, one spin left, Lynn. You need money to win. On the other hand, you don't want to pick up another devil. I'll leave it to you. Play or pass? I'll play. You're going to play. Okay, there's still $2,500 up there, Lynn. Stop! It's a prize. Let's see what you've won. This time it's a Magnavox 25-inch color television for $1,095. That's not bad. The devil doesn't have time to get that one because you're through with spinning, and so we move over to Jack with six spins. Good luck, Jack. Okay, let's get some money. Stop! One thousand dollars. So let's get some money and up it came. Five spins left. You're in second place by $95. Jack, play or pass? I'm going to play a couple more times. Okay, watch out for the devil. Stop! Ooh, by one. There's a prize, and this time, a full-length fur coat. It's worth $1,498. You single or married, Jack? Those devils worry me, but I'm going to try one more time. You're going to avoid that time. question and take one more. Go ahead. Stop. Ah, let's see what you got this time. It's a trip to Mexico City, and it's worth $700. Jack, three spins left here, $3,202. You can play or pass. I'm not going to risk the devils. I'm going to pass them. I'm going to pass them. You're going to pass. When you pass, you pass to the player with the most money, and that is Lynn. Lynn, you've got three more chances. Now, you must take these three spins that are passed to you unless you hit a devil. Let's see if you can build up that total. Jack thinks you're going to hit a devil. Maybe you'll get $2,500. Two more must spins, Lynn. Good luck. Stop! Oh, right. <laughs> Jack is giving you $1,500. You're at 2595 and he's got some second thoughts about his strategy. One more spin to beat, Lynn. Stop! Oh. And let's take a look. You have picked up a week at Hawaii's Alamoana Hotel. It's valued at $870. That runs your total up to $3,465. Puts you in first place, courtesy of Jack. Maggie, six spins. Haven't seen a devil for a while. Let's hope we don't now. Good luck. Stop! $500 in cash, Maggie. You are in third place. Play or pass? I'll go. You'll go. Take a look this time. It's a vacation for two in San Francisco, Maggie. It's worth $525. Still in third place with $1,025. Four spins to go, Maggie. Uh, Player we'll pass. Go, we'll go. You're going to play. $600 in debt. Maggie, you're up to $1,625. Three spins left. If you hit a devil, it's all gone. You're still in third place. Player pass. Go. again. $2,225, Maggie. Two spins left. You're in third place. Go. You're gonna play it, I gambler. Stop! $500 in cash. 
$2,725. Maggie, one more spin. With this spin, you could pick up as much as $2,500, or you could hit a devil, or you can pass. I, uh, Play or pass, Maggie? I'll go. You're, I'll go. You're going to go for it. Could lose everything. So Take over the lead. $3,725. We'll be right back to see if you can hang on to that lead and avoid the devil as I give all three players a second chance right after this word. tight game. Welcome back to Second Chance. Players, this is our final round. Let me tell you where you stand. It is tight. Jack, $3,202. Lynn, $3,465. Maggie took over lead, $3,725. <laughs> Remember, you'll get one spin at the bonus board for every point you earn. And the player with the most money at the end of this round wins the game. Good luck, players. Here is your first question. Now, watch out for this one. What is the first word of the United States Constitution? First word of the Constitution, five seconds. I've got one, two, and Jack, I need an answer, three. And I will tell you right now that at least one of you has the correct answer. Let's take a look at the second chance answers. The first word of the Constitution is either the, we, or when. And I'm going to begin with Maggie. Would you like to stay where you are, Maggie? <laughs> or would you like a second chance? I'm, I'm gonna, s I'll stay. You're gonna stay, not positive, but she's gonna stay. Jack, what about you? Stay where you are, maybe there's something up there that uh, I'm gonna stay where better. I am. You're gonna stay where you are, no second chance. Lynn, how about you? Everybody else is confident. Do you feel confident? No, I don't. Would you like a second chance? No, I don't. I'm gonna stick with this. You're gonna stay. What's your first choice, Lynn? We. What's the right answer, Maggie? We! We! we. we. Yeah. Couldn't shake you off. Three points for Maggie, three points for Jack, and three points for Lynn. Nice way to start round two because those will be converted into spins a bit later. Now, players, question number two. What is Jimmy Carter's middle name? President-elect, what is his middle name? Five seconds. All right. Let me tell you that at least two of you are wrong. <laughs> and let's take a look at the second chance answers. Jimmy Carter's middle name is either Joe, Bob, or Earl. And Jack, I'm going to begin with you. Would you like to stay where you are, or I'm would you like a second chance? I'll stay where I am. You are positive of this one. No possibility you could be wrong. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Okay, I'm... you want to stay, stay yeah. stand pat, okay? Lynn, you would like a second chance. I sure would. What are you going to change to? I'm changing to Earl. You are changing to Earl. All right. Maggie, would you like a second chance? You've gotten some interesting information I here. I certainly would most definitely like to change my answer. I think I'll also change to Earl. All right. You changed to Earl. What's the right answer, Jack? It's Earl. Oh! oh. One point for Maggie on the second chance. Three points for Jack, had it all the way. And one point for Lynn on the second chance. Okay, players, last question in the game. Pens poised. Which chess piece cannot move backward? Which chess piece can't move backward? Five seconds. And at least one of you is right. Let's take a look at the second chance answers. The piece that can't move backward is either the bishop, the knight, or the pawn. And Lynn, I'm going to begin with you. Would what? you like a second chance? I lose a chess all the time. Well, be careful you I'm don't do it again. But I'm going to stay, but I know this. I'm staying there. You're staying there. All right. Yeah. Maggie, what about you? No help from Lynn on that one. Would you like to stand, Pat, or would you like a second chance? I think I'll stay. You're going to stay. I Jack, think. it all comes down to you. Stay where you are or I'm take gonna a second too. chance. I'm going to stay, too. I'm pretty sure on this one. You're going to stay. Yeah. Lynn, what's the right answer? It's a pawn. It's a pawn, <laughs> right all across the board once again. Okay, three points for Maggie. Three points for Jack. And three points for Lynn. 
that's the final question of the game, and we will be back in just a moment to give our three players a final chance for a big bonus board right after this message. Don't go away. Welcome back to Second Chance. Let's take a look at our scores. Interesting game. Lynn and Maggie are tied with seven points. Jack has nine. And remember, players, every time you spin, you will be risking everything you've won. As you can see, we've increased the value of the big bonus board to over $25,000, so anybody can take this game home. Since we've got a tie for fewest spins between Nancy and Lynn, I'll go with the player closer to me. Lynn, that is you. Be careful of the devils. You know what happens. You got one showing three and you're out of the game. Good luck to you. You want to play or pass, Lynn? Okay. You're going to take them. Build it up. Stop. Oh. Let's take a look at the behind there. It's an Italian dining room set. It's valued at $1,900. Lynn, brings up to $5,365. Six pins left. There's 5000 up there in one. Play or pass, Lynn? Play. You're going to go for it. You've got to build up some money in this round. Stop. You are now at $10,365. You've got five spins left, Lynn. You can hit more of those. No way. Devil and go right down. No player pass. I'm passing. You are passing. You pass to the player with the most money. That's Maggie. Let's see those five mandatory spins go up on Maggie. These are spins that you must take, Maggie. Yes, sir. Starting at $3,795. Good luck to you. Stop. Okay, Maggie, four more must spins unless you hit a devil. Good luck. Stop! What have you got? You're gonna go to Paris, Maggie, and it's worth $2,200. You're up to 8425 dollars and three more spins that you've got to get through, courtesy of Lynn. Stop! Aha! This time it's gonna be a Rockola jukebox worth $1,395. Two more spins that you must take, Nancy, up to 9,820. Stop! Oh! There's the prize. It's a soda fountain and a beer dispenser. I'm going to come over. It's worth $1,953. You're up to 11,773. One more spin that you must take, Maggie. Stop! It's a white mink and fox oh, fur coat for two thousand dollars. Maggie, you're in first place. You've got thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy-three dollars. You've got seven spins, play or pass, Maggie. I need a decision, Maggie. Play or pass? Oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, I've What'll got it be, seven. Maggie? What'll it be? I think Lynn may have my spins. You're going to pass to the player with the most money. That means they come back to Lynn. Seven of them, Lynn. Oh. One devil showing. You must take them unless you hit a devil. Maggie got through. Maybe you can. Stop! Just in time, Maggie. You know it. Lynn, say goodbye to $10,365. Two devils. Two more, and you're out of the game. You've got, you're now released from taking the spins. However, you can't win the game without money. You've got six spins left, Lynn. Play or pass? Time to play. Good luck. There's still 5,000 up there. Stop. $1,400. That's building your way back up, Lynn. You've got like five more spins. Play on the pass. Play. You're in third place. Oh. Got to play. Stop. $1,500. Now it's getting more interesting. Let's add it up. You're at $2,900. Third place, Lynn. Four spins. Play or pass? I'll play. Watch out for those devils, Lynn. Four and you're out. Stop! Oh. What's behind that prize? It's a complete living room set. It's valued at $1,868. You're now in second place, Lynn. Three spins left. Play or pass? One more time. Play or I'm pass? Play. One more time, You're going to play them. Stop! That was such a good time to pass, Lynn. The devil took your 4768 home. You know where he lives. Two spins left, Lynn. Got a lot of help out there. Can't win with no money. Stop. All right, 
this time it's a king size bedroom set. It's valued at $1,640. You're in second place. Lynn, you can hit 5,000 and take over second place, or you can pass. No, I'm One more devil give and you're gone. No, Maggie. I think Maggie's oh, due. Maggie. You're going to pass your spin over to Maggie. Maggie, one spin. You can increase by as much as 5,000. You could hit a devil and be gone. I know. Let's see how it works out. Very important spin for you, Maggie. Stop! Oh! Oh, oh, no! $13,773. Lynn's strategy paid off. She is now in second place. Jack comes to his nine spins at $3,202. Jack, play or pass. You're in first place. We can't place. just stop now? <laughs> no, we can't. can't just I'm going to play for a while. You're yeah, going to play for a yeah. while. All right, okay. good luck. Lynn, stop. Let's see what's behind that prize. It's a brass canopy bed. It's valued at $1,600. We have on you $4,802. Eight spins left, Jack. You're in first place. Lynn has gotta, three devils. Gotta You're going to play. Stop. It's another prize, and this time it's a Van Cleef and Arpels Piaget watch, an 18 karat gold, adds $1,900 to your total. You're up to $6,702, seven spins to go. Too many spins to give away. I'm gonna play a little bit. Too many to give away, interesting strategy. Let's see what happens. Stop. Ah, uh, paid off that time because you just picked up twin Kawasaki motorcycles valued at $1,990. $8,692. You're in first place. You've got six spins left. Play or pass, Jack? Play. Play. or pass, Jack? The play. I'm going to play. Stop. $1,100 in cash. Add it on. It brings up to $9,792. Jack, still five spins left. You can pick up as much as five thousand. One more time. One more time. One more time, says Jack. Stop. Jack, you had eleven thousand forty-two dollars, four spins. Play or pass? pass. I want to get rid of this. <laughs> Too much he to passed to Lynn. You must pass to the highest player. That's Lynn. Four spins come over to you that you have to take. Lynn, one devil, and you're out of the game. If you can avoid him, there's plenty of time up there to take over first place and walk away with the game, courtesy of Jack. A devil will put you out and make Jack the automatic winner. Are you ready? Good luck. Stop! Oh. You're up to $6,640. One more of those, you'd be in first place. Three spins left. Of course, anytime you hit a devil, Jack wins the game. Stop! What's back there? This time you're going to be spending 16 days in Russia. It's worth $2,495. You're up to 9,135. Two must spins left. If you hit a devil, it's Jack's game. Could be 5,000. Well, let's see what's behind that prize. This time it's an Apache Mesa convertible camper. The price, $2,235. You are now at 11,370. Jack has helped you take first place. One spin left. Lynn, if you hit a devil, Jack wins. If you hit anything else, he has given you the game. Stop! It's a beautiful 16 Sterling G7 Tiffany company value of $1,200. We'll tell Lynn all, Lynn, all the things she's won right after this message. Don't you go away. What can I say? Maggie and Jack, you played so well. Maggie, you're up at 13,000 at one point. Jack, perfect strategy. Three devils showing. You pass four spins. You got to win it. We have lovely consolation prizes for you, and our thanks for taking that second chance. Lynn, we left up those devils just to point it out. You went into that with three devils showing. You had to get through four spins. You ran it up. You have a total today. You want a living room set, a bedroom set, a trip to Russia, a camper, a lovely silver tea service, plus cash for a total of $12,570. Lynn, that's not bad.
Lynn will be back with us tomorrow to meet two new players and try to see if she can add to that total. We will see her then, and I hope we will see you tomorrow. Till then, this is Jim Peck reminding you it's never too late to take a second chance. Bye-bye, everybody.